Hi, this is Michael at TV Radio 1972, and here is my latest radio purchase from Amazon. The Eaton Elite Executive AM FM Longwave Shortwave Radio with Single Sideband. I bought this radio at Amazon on sale last week for just $100 plus tax. Now, normally, this radio is sold for $149.99, and... Prices tend to fluctuate depending on what kind of deal they offer, but this is the lowest price I have ever seen the Eaton Elite Executive, so I figured, why pass up the opportunity to try this radio out? So right now, I'm going to unbox and demonstrate this radio. Now, the packaging looks pretty good, except for one flaw over here, but that's no big deal. The rest of the box looks... uh. In great condition. Here's the front of the package right here. And here's part of the package here. Here's the sides right here. You can pause and read all the features down here. And there's more features on the back of the radio here. I'm not sure if it'll focus properly, so I know what to do. I'll bring this half up forward, so you can pause and read that in English and in French. And uh, you can read the features and pause and read that. And um, where's the top of the package? Top of the package is right here. Like I said, the box looks to be in pretty good shape. Now, I did do one thing before the unboxing. All I did was cut this tape here, and that's it. That's all I did. I have not even tried this radio yet. I haven't even took it out. So, and here it is. And it's falling before my eyes. Now, here is the instruction manual right here. I'll just show you just a little bit what's in it. Some languages here. I'm not going to show you the whole book. Just parts of it. Nice diagram here. I'll show you that part is there. Now, I don't see a table of contents anywhere. That's okay. I just wanted to show you the book. Here's the back of it right here. And then, you have the AC adapter right here. That is pretty neat. I'll put it in the back of the box. Yeah. And then I'll take out the radio, which is underneath this. And it's inside this box, so I will take that out. And now I got to be careful here. Oh, I think if I hold it here. Oh, I see. Got to be careful taking out this radio. But I'm trying to figure out how I take it out. Pardon me for a minute. Ah, got it. And here it is. I like the cover that it has. Have to just push it down a little more. It's held together by some magnets. So here, here's the cover here. The cover here. It has an opening to put your antenna through. And let me see. That's it. So... I'll take it out, uh, the, uh, but I have to take it out carefully. I think I have to, do I have to unhook this? Yeah. I have to unhook the antenna and then take it out like this. And I don't know why I'm facing this down. I should be facing this up because I don't want the buttons to get ruined. Oh, well. And here it is. Here's the radio right here. Um, 
has a big antenna up here. I'm gonna measure the antenna first, actually. That's what I'm gonna do. Pretty big antenna. And let's see. About 31 inches. Tan's about 31 inches. And here's the front of the radio right here. Now, the reason why I bought this radio is I hope that this radio will replace the radio I currently have. And that is the Grundig G3 Global Traveler Radio. I've been using this mainly for single sideband because it has upper and lower sideband settings. And um, I'll put a link in the description below for that review. And um, this feels pretty light without the batteries. Uh, this one definitely feels a little heavier. And um, I'll show you uh, the front of the radio here. But I want to put the antenna down so I don't mess it up. So, um, yeah, this antenna is a little complicated to work on. I got to really get the hang of it. Here's the front of the radio right here. You can pause and read some of the buttons while I just briefly describe some of it. It has a uh, speaker grill here. Has uh, buttons here. Power button here. It's a sleep button here. LCD screen and it looks like the LCD screen looks pretty much intact. No scratches. And there's their function keys right here. A lock button here, page time button here, auto tuning here, or manual tuning. You have your time zone line in buttons here, a numeric keypad here with FM and AM buttons here. The FM button is for FM and air. The zero button is also to change the bands from long wave to medium wave. And then your AM is your meter bands within shortwave. This row of buttons here, your line and time zone, copy paste, erase button, light and edit button, white stereo, narrow mono. Those must be the bandwidth buttons. Upper, lower sideband, single sideband, which also acts as your RDS on FM. RDS mode, I should say, and then your sync SSB, single sideband and RDS buttons here. Your auto uh, tuning here. Or your manual tune. You can also manual tune like this. You have your tuning wheel here. You have a volume control here. A line in an out button. Uh, the radio has to be off, but you can set it to either line in or out. Back of the radio, it has your antenna here. And let me see the antenna. It looks like the antenna looks okay to me. And then some speaker grills here, some magnets to hold that cover, and a kickstand. Pretty sturdy to kickstand, and I'll read out the frequencies. FM 87.5 to 108, 520.17.10, 1.711 to 29.999, long wave 115 to 285, and air band 117 to 137. It operates on four double A's or the six volt DC adapter. Eaton Elite Executive right here. Made, made in China. Or assembled in China. That's how they say it. And then there's the battery door which. It's hinged. That's pretty good. So what I'm going to do right now. Is put in some batteries and just demonstrate the thing. It's not a full review. So I just want to go. Around select parts of the bands, and that's it. Nothing real elaborate today.
And where is the battery door? I oh, I forgot. Silly me, it's captured. And here we go. And oh, not bad display. It's pretty good in the light. The one thing I don't like about this display, though, is taking this outside because you're going to have a hard time seeing outside. That's why I originally didn't want this kind of rail, but for $100, I figured, why not? I'll be mostly using it indoors anyway. So right now, I'll just demonstrate some of the bands here. And I'm going to hold it like this. And turn it on. Ah, here it is. Yeah, this mute on tuning. Now, you can change the steps. I think. Yeah, I gotta read the instruction book on how to change the steps, but... I think there's a way you can change the steps. Anyhow. Yep. 88.3 WBGO Newark. That's coming in. Let me see if I can get this in stereo. Auto... Indian background. On the flag, cause it's not black and white. Now. I'm going to see how the... Oh, there's the RDS mode. That's all 92.3 WBMP. No, sorry. WNYL, New York City. And this is how you display the information. There's the format, which is rock. The song title is here. And then more of the song title here. And then there, here it is, WNYL, Wednesday, 11. So, sounds pretty good so far. I'm going to go up to another station um, just to see how far these stations go. I'm going to try 101.5. That's a good testing ground for reception. Breaking through, it's going to be a breezy day, a high in yep. the upper 40s. Sunny and beautiful Thursday. New Jersey 101.5 WXKW. So, yeah, it's coming in well here. So, that means it has good reception on FM. And WSPK K104 Poughkeepsie, New York. That's 60 miles from here. So, yeah, FM's doing pretty good so far. All right, we're on shortwave, so I think this is how I can key it in. 4840. Yeah. This is different from that which you find in Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 18. In Ephesians 5, 18, it is payroll. I demonstrate these two differences of being filled with WCR, Nashville, Tennessee. I'll take a glass. Let me see if I can get WWV right now. Yep, WWV, Fort Collins, Colorado. Now, I'm going to try medium wave. Ah, oh, there it is. Now, yeah, there's some interference in my house right now. So, that's why I'm getting noise on the lower bands. Well, let me try... 
Now, where did this language come from? And darn it, if some legal analyst didn't go out there and say, hey, look, uh, W-H-A-S, Louisville, Kentucky, that's Ford, over 640 you know, miles. They don't know what they're talking about. So it's gained those Why? stations. The Gerald Ford. I'll try another station. And hopefully change their lives. WFED, Washington, D.C., that's over 200 miles. Oh, KXEL, Waterloo, Iowa, 944 miles. That's pretty good. And, um, let me see. Oh, the air band. I forgot the air band. The only problem is I don't know if I'll get air band at this time of night. Kind of a more daytime thing for me. I'll just let it uh, scroll for a little bit. Maybe for a few more seconds. If I don't get anything, you know, I can always post videos on the air band with this radio like I did with the Rainy Wow. Yeah. And let me see. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get anything on the long way, but... I just want to see what this thing tunes up to. Oh, it actually goes further up. That's pretty good. So it actually gives the whole band. And that's CHLO, Brampton, Ontario, Canada. So reception wise, very good. So, uh, so far, I'm happy with this radio. So far. I'm going to use this radio for a while, see how everything goes, and then I'll show you a full review of the Eaton Elite Executive Radio. So I hope you love this unboxing and demonstration of this radio. Have a good week, everyone, and God bless. Bye-bye.